Hello and welcome to ADSR Pro with me Mike Smith. Uh, going to be taking you through a couple of different ways of side chaining in Cubase, Cubase 5. Um, so let's dive straight into it and uh, get started. So first of all let's create a couple of audio tracks. Oh, an audio track. Um, let's colour these, let's have that one orange. On yellow, so let's call this side chain trigger, and that's what we'll use for the ducking effect of our side chain. Let's call this one kick drum. This is what will this will be our normal kick drum in the track. Obviously, when that hits, the side chain will will squash down. And uh, let's have a, another audio track, and let's call this pad, so we can hear the effect. Right, uh, control and P. So there's our kick drum. I've already pre done these. And um, there's our pad. So let's just have a list of those. So there you go, no effect at all. Let's copy our kick drum onto the sidechain trigger. And what I shall do on that is put to no bus so you don't hear it at all so there you can you can see the volume hitting but you can't actually hear the kick drum that's effectively what we want so now what we need to do is create a group so f4 add group and we'll just add a stereo group and we'll call this main side chain okay on that group channel. Let's put our compressor of choice. Uh, for this, I'll use the FabFilter Pro C. There you go. Let's put that to external. Now, because this is a VST3, let me show you again. See these little three marks here? That means it's um, a VST3 plugin. And the difference between that is we have this here which is activate side chain. So let's click that on. Now, with regards to routing, our trigger, like we said, is not going to a bus at all. So if we open this up, what I like to do is use a send. So we'll send that to the group main side chain. In fact, we won't, we'll send it into the side chain there. We'll turn that on and we'll put that to zero dB. Now, the reason I tend to do that is it allows me to automate how much side chain is has been affected using this um, which is quite handy in in breakdowns etc it allows you to just sort of slowly take the side chain out so the pads swell up more etc so that's that so now we need to send our pad to the other side of the side chain which is there so in theory let's just mute the kick drum we should have some there you go some form of ducking let's go into the side chain manipulate this a bit more ratio there you go you can really hear that now bring our kick back in So now let's add a bass, drag that straight on, automatically creates an audio track and let's do the same. We'll send the output to the main side chain. Turn the pad down. No side chain. Obviously, put as much or as little as, on, as you want on. And strings. Send them to the side chain. Let's bring that down a bit. <clears throat> I 
and that is effectively it really quick and easy so just to recap initially we set up um, a sidechain trigger and the kick drum on the trigger we send that to no bus at all so you don't hear it we then created a group f4 add a group called it sidechain on that group channel we then put a compressor of choice uh, any sidechain compressor we use the vst3 one which you have to do in the uh, in this simple way turn the sidechain on um, routed the trigger to the sidechain via the send um, like I say that's just the way I do it you can do it by the, you know selecting the output there to sidechain however for me I just like to be able to have the automation um, so for instance under here uh, at some point we could put send level and you know write the automation of the sidechain so let's just see that in action you can hear there it almost um, gives the feeling of you know coming up towards a breakdown the side chain is not affecting it as much everything's swelling up you could drop the kick out and then into your breakdown it's just personal choice <clears throat> I just like to have 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 use of the automation uh, so that's it for this tutorial uh, we'll go to the next one in a moment which is using a similar effect obviously the end result will be the same However, we'll be creating a quadro channel. A little bit harder, a little bit more complex, but if you don't have VST3, this is the way to do it. Okay, till then, bye-bye.